Hello. Hello friends. This is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Are there days that you are struggling with something? Maybe it's not just one day. Maybe it's a few days in a row. And you're struggling so hard with something that you're dealing with that you just feel like giving up. And then along comes somebody or something that gives you inspiration to keep going. Well, I'm going to talk about just that right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So welcome back or welcome if you're brand new to my channel. Today I am sitting out in my garden and my ducks are out here with me doing their job. I will put in a little video of them wandering around right here. So yes, I have khaki campbell ducks that are allowed to be in the garden. They eat my snails and slugs and all that good stuff um, to keep them away from the crops that I am growing. And I'm so thankful that I have those ducks. They do a great job. Khaki campbells and Indian runners, they're both very similar. One was actually made from another. So, um, but they are great for your garden, those two specific breeds because they eat the bugs that terrorize your garden without doing too much damage to your garden. So uh, there's a little plug for uh, why you should have ducks on the homestead and specifically khaki campbells or Indian runners for organic pest control in your garden. All right, so for inspiration, what am I talking about? Well, there are times that we struggle with things and we've been struggling with them for so long and nothing seems to really be working to help us overcome whatever struggle we're dealing with that we get burnt out and we're just ready to throw in the towel and say, you know, <laughs> I'm done. And um, then there are times that um, inspiration comes around and gives us a new will to continue the fight, a new um, fervor to continue this fight of whatever you're struggling with, whether it be diet or weight loss, maybe some chronic health diseases, maybe addictions of some kind. Uh, there's a struggle that you're dealing with and um, it's very difficult sometimes to keep pushing forward in gaining victory over that particular struggle. Well, about five months ago, I had shared a video on a YouTuber who was involved in a horrific crash uh, that took the life of her husband instantly. Uh, she was in critical condition and her children were seriously injured. And I will put a link to that video up above. Anyways, um, that was five months ago and I've been following her and her long journey for uh, recovery. And by no means is it over, but uh, she is an inspiration. Um, Heather from the Needy Homesteader, who has tremendous faith in the Lord and whose friends and community have rallied around her to help support her and her family as they try to recover from this uh, horrific crash that was caused by a drunk driver. Um, it's really been inspiring to watch her 
push through. She was really banged up bad. And, um, you know, I had really, really recommend that you check out her channel uh, for some updates directly from her on the different things that she's been doing to try to recover. And it's been a very, very long process for her. And like I said, it's it's not over. Um, she's still got a ways to go. She has brain damage and she's still uh, dealing with the physical. Um, her hands and her legs were, were really crushed and they had to put them back together for her. Um, so trying to recover physically, mentally, emotionally, and staying strong spiritually, um, I've just been really inspired by uh, the strength and fortitude uh, she has to continue on with her own struggles. And that's really inspired me with my journey, my health struggles and things, which are nothing in comparison to what she's dealing with right now. Uh, Heather and I both have fibromyalgia, so she kind of gives me some, some inspiration there on how she deals with it and how I can deal with it. And um, I've shared that in some of my videos here on my own channel, just different tips and tricks that I have learned through trial and error on what helps me with my health journeys. And so getting back to uh, just being inspired by somebody who is dealing with a lot more crap than I'm dealing with, really gives me that insight, that, that inspiration that um, what I'm dealing with isn't a big deal. And so if she can deal with what she's dealing with, I can deal with what I have to deal with. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today that um, I know there's a lot of people struggling with a lot of stuff out there. You know, I struggle with my health um, all the time. Um, and my weight loss, which is intertwined with my health, you know, I, I, I'm not healthy because I'm overweight and I'm overweight because I'm not healthy. It's, it's a Ferris wheel that I just cannot get off of um, to get going in the right direction at times. But that's when we need to uh, find inspiration from somewhere. Um, I read the Bible um, and I find inspiration in there. Um, I watch people like Heather and others who are going through difficult times and seeing how they continue to persevere and finding support. Uh, if you need support locally, uh, calling a friend or, or whatnot to, to give you some accountability or just some encouragement to continue with those struggles is very, very vital to your continued success in whatever struggle you are dealing with. So I just wanted to share that with you today. There's a video that Heather did uh, recently, which is why I'm so, so, so inspired. Um, it's the most recent video she did on making bread for the first time since her accident. And the biggest piece of that is her homemade bread was the last meal uh, that Matt ate, her husband ate before he died from her. And she had gone through and made bread and served it to him. And then the next day he was gone. And so for her to come back into the kitchen to make bread again with her broken hands and and uh, holding herself up with a cane because her legs still messed up. Um, she's pushing through the physical problems, the emotional problems, because this is very, very deep, you know, um, and sharing it with the community to inspire others that um, this is hard. You know, it's very difficult for her, but she's pushing through. She knows she has to do this as part of her recovery. And that is very inspiring. I will put that link to the video up there. Um, you know, I never thought I would cry so hard watching somebody make bread. But it's a awe inspiring video. And I just um, was very inspired by it myself. 
and I wanted to share the update about Heather since I did talk about her five months ago and how she's doing and also how much she has inspired me and I hope through my channel that I can inspire others um, you know to get out there and garden if you've never gardened before to, to raise chickens or ducks if you've never had before um, to continue with your weight loss or health struggles that you might be dealing with I hope to be as much of an inspiration to you as Heather and some other youtubers are to me so I just want to thank you so much for watching this video watching all of my videos and being a part of the journey if you haven't already click the subscribe button down below so you can t stay up to date with the journeys there's all sorts of things I do here on the channel and I just hope that wherever you are whatever you are dealing with that you are wonderfully blessed so until next time, everybody, bye-bye.